This is Caleb with Integrity Home Inspections. I am at 3306 East 26th Street in Vancouver, Washington, doing a sewer scope from the roof vent on top of the home out to the city main line in the street. So this is about as far as my camera is allowing me to go uh, through the concrete line. I'm going to go um, turn the water flow off on the inside of the house and I'm going to locate the position of the line as well uh, to see if I can uh, find which direction the sewer line is going.
So I'm located um, near the end of the driveway on the front side of the home. Um, so unless I find another clean out, my scope's only going to entail from the top of the 4 inch roof vent on the roof out to this point. Um, so there could be unknown issues past this point of where my camera could reach. And right here is um, some roots beginning to grow through the line, uh, which I was able to see pretty clearly. Um, so I'm going to go locate and mark this position. So I located and marked this position. Uh, it's in the front yard. It's located or marked with green spray paint and about four feet deep. And again, right here on the top portion of the line, it looks like those are possibly roots. Um, uh, more roots growing through one of the joints. Um, I know it was about four feet behind um, the previous position I marked, so I'll mark that uh, once I finish up the video. should be about the same depth as well. So it looks like there's a belly right here in the sewer line. Uh, I'm not really sure how long it goes for, so I'm just going to go locate and mark this position um, and then pull back to the starting point and mark this position as well, or the starting position as well.
So this position is actually located underneath um, the home. So now we're back inside the crawl space. Um, and it wasn't too severe actually. It was, looked just like it was um, a little pocket of standing water. Um, but it looks like it was right on the beginning of where the cast iron line connects. So uh, standing water inside cast iron can eventually just erode and rot through um, the bottom half of the sewer line. And wherever there's standing water, there's always a greater chance debris could begin to catch and build up and potentially back up the line because the sewer line is not draining completely. This concludes the sewer scope video inspection. Uh, in my opinion, the sewer lines in failing condition uh, due to at least two positions that, in my opinion, had roots growing through the concrete line um, in the front yard. Again, those are both marked and about four feet deep. Also, there could be more unknown issues past the point my camera could reach. I didn't see a clean out access point, um, so um, they most likely probably just didn't put one in or. Um, you know, they just maybe they took it out or something. Um, but I didn't see a clean out to go through to scope the remainder of the line. So I recommend when they fix um, those two areas with root intrusion, they fix the remainder of the sewer line as well. Because again, there could be more unknown issues with the sewer line past the point my camera could reach. Um, but the cast iron, actually, in my opinion, uh, appeared to be in pretty good condition. So they may just have to, um, you know. Uh, the, the concrete line looked worse, so the, you know that's probably getting near the end of its useful life. But the cast iron portion of the line, um, again, um, looked like it had some life left with it. Uh, I'll put all this throughout the report and email the report along with the video inspection to the agent and buyers. Thank you for choosing integrity and have a good day.